Well, hello, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to what has become my personal living hell, which is Farmer's Dynasty. Let's load the game and get back into it. So, we're picking off where we... Picking off, well, picking up, or picking off, where we left off last time, which was just finishing the Clara job. Didn't end up having to steal her plow, which is nice. So we own this handsome plow now. Now, I was looking at the uh, game. Not really a manual, more of a like starter's guide thing that came with this version when I bought it. And there were some suggestions there I thought we should probably use. One of them is heading across the lake. Uh, I'm trying to remember which where we need to go exactly. We need to go to this job where we can earn a combine. Actually, let's look at the map real quick. Maybe the map will help us. Probably not. Uh, it wasn't that far down. Uh, now I'm not entirely sure where it is. I don't know if it's on the map at the moment. Let's just find it. We'll find it. Oh, sorry. I know the camera sucks. I worked on the camera. I could not get any better. Well, I lessened the DPI on my mouse, which helped the walking camera, but the driving camera is just ridiculous in this game. Horrific at best. Something we're just going to have to deal with. So we're going to go see this gal over here, I guess. Like I said, she's got some repairs for us to do. And I guess in the process, we... There it is. We can earn a harvester, which we are in desperate need of. Um, I guess we can drive on up here. I'm so paranoid about driving over people's crops and stuff now. Oh, there's the combine. We probably should have walked here now that I see that. So this combine here, and I think both of these headers, maybe maybe not that one, but I'm pretty sure this one we can even earn. Let's find out what she's got to offer, what kind of work we have to do. Oh, goodness. Hello, oh. mister. I'm Janet. Hi, Janet. Have we met? Um, I'm your neighbor. I live just across that lake. Moved in not long ago. There you go. Hey, we just moved in too. All right. Bought this farm and greenhouses to start a tomato business. Ah. But it is such a mess. I feel cheated. The greenhouses are a ruin. I guess I can help you restore these. Can you now? That would be <laughs> so great. But I don't have much money to pay you. What about that harvester over there? I think it's worth the effort. Sure. I can take it for an exchange. This sounds great. We have no use for it anyway. We wish to plant tomatoes, don't own any fields. Oh, well that works in out In this case, I'm place. on it. I will about, fix your um, greenhouses in exchange for that harvester. What about the barn over there? Whoa. Can you fix it too? Oh, hold on I'll a add the header to sweeten the deal. Yeah, she keeps tacking stuff onto the deal. That's too much for me. I think I'll pass. Eh. A lot of work. But it's worth we need it. it. We need the car. We need the combine. As long as she doesn't tack any other work onto it, I guess we'll be okay. So, I don't know if both fix the greenhouse. If we have to do both, and this barn too. Oh wait, the hen house. Was it the hen house or the barn? All right. Well, let's get busy because obviously we don't have. Well, we don't have much of a choice. So like I was saying, I was doing a little bit reading on this beginner's guide. Actually, it's not just a beginner's guide. It's actually kind of a full game guide kind of thing. But for the most part, what it was saying to do was go and find jobs in order to earn the equipment you need to basically farm initially. Um... You can buy new equipment in the game, but I guess it's kind of expensive. 
and I don't think we're going to have that luxury for quite some time, if I'm being honest. I guess there's also quite a few townsfolk that just kind of, I don't know, mill around um, social areas like the church and coffee shop and things like that. You can talk to them and get uh, get more work. Almost like it's um, like with Farming Simulator with just a bunch of contracts. If you really want to start from scratch is kind of the, the feel here that I've got. Uh, I don't think there's there's not different starting modes in this game. So you really can't start off with uh, a bunch of money in the bank where you can actually own relatively decent equipment. It's pretty much, you know, Grandpa died, didn't leave you a squat. Good luck. That kind of a thing. Hoping to not have to get the... Hoping to not have to get the... Whatchamacallit out, the scaffolding. Not that it's that difficult, but at the same time... It's another... Something to do. Most of this stuff... Right or wrong, you can kind of reach... From the ground level. This angle grinder is quite the magical tool... I think we're just grinding off rust. I, I I don't know what else we're really doing here. We're not adding any new uh, materials. And I was looking uh, on our farm. We've got... I think we've got wheat and canola, I think, that are ready to harvest. Better get on this side over here, I guess. Weed and canola, I think, up front. And then I'll, it'll, I'll be curious to see how they operate things. If they have multi-fruit silos, can... Or how, you know, can you only put one type of grain in the silo? I should probably read up on that, but we can probably mm -hmm. figure that out as we go. Fix the barn. Really? The barn? I don't know, man. This is this deal's not panning out. It's a lot of work. I guess we can look here. Yeah, fix the barn. Lovely. So much for being an easy deal. Hopefully the barn's not too bad. Come on, I don't. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. I saw a repair job there. Come on, let me. Let me, let me, let me. What if we go in the barn? A lot of times you get away with it. Uh, we're probably going to have to put up stinking scaffolding. So if we have to do the barn, I wonder that second greenhouse too. I don't know. But so once we get this done, we'll have a combine. I think we'll also have a header. And then apparently there is another job that's recommended um, that we do to get a grain trailer, which makes a lot of sense because we don't own a trailer. I was doing a little poking around on the map just on the side here just to kind of familiarize myself a bit with my surroundings. There is an agricultural shop where you can buy... I'm sorry. Um, there is an agricultural shop. It's it's kind of a... I guess where you can buy seed, things like that. But there's also a farm equipment shop. They didn't have a whole lot there, though. I don't know if, if things change occasionally as to what you can buy at the farm equipment shop um yeah there wasn't a whole lot there i thought that was kind of weird what they did have there were mostly i think they had a tractor oddly enough they had a a beet harvester maybe beets are a little more common in these neck of the woods um i think they had a couple trailers Come on. There you go. They had a couple of trailers. 
no combines. A couple of tractors. Maybe we'll stop by and visit there here if we have time this episode. But uh, would really like to get this stinking combine done and out of the way. A lot of socialness that's not in Farming Simulator, uh, part of this map. Farming Simulator really doesn't have any kind of social, unless you're playing multiplayer with friends, but, you know, in-game kind of social deal going on. This map seems to weigh a little bit heavier on getting to know your neighbors. And I guess you can gain more are better social standing with your neighbors if you, you know, do things for them, don't steal their equipment, stuff like that. Stuff that we are going to try very hard to do. I don't know socially what that means if you start, I think if you start getting close, whoa, look at that train wreck over there. I don't know if you start getting closer to people, if they just offer you more work, better pay, you know, that kind of thing. I think we're about done with this barn, though, aren't we? Man, I'm so glad that the game doesn't care that I just jump off roofs. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get a done stamp on this barn. Yeah. The hen house, too? Come on, man. I think she's adding things. I don't think the hen house was part of the deal. I mean, what am I going to do, right? If she says, well, you know, you're halfway done. Unless you finish, you don't get anything. So I'm just going to tack on another the hen house, the barn, and another greenhouse. One of those kind of neighbors, you know. Give an inch, take a mile. You know, not the, you know, never run into those before. Alright, this hen house shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. It's actually a little bit satisfying, the repairs. I, I actually don't mind doing them. There's something ultimately satisfying when you see something that's kind of a train wreck and you fix it up in game like this in real life I this would be way too much work for me I'd have to hire this out still haven't really quite figured out the food situation for him I think I already screwed that up a little bit if I'm being honest I think I was supposed to um, can some of the food I ate early on but, um, oh well. I think we can buy more food like apples, tomatoes, things like that from uh, some weirdos on the street. Something like that. Alright, let's get this. Let's put a wrapper on this thing. We gotta get this hen house done. I hope she doesn't expect me to do that other greenhouse. Got my own work to do. What's this lady's name? Is it Janet? Man, Janet. She feel like she got cheated, she said, when she bought this. Didn't she know what she was buying? They didn't look at it first? I used to be big into uh, eBay selling. Just in general, big into eBay kind of thing when it was a little more interesting than it is today which is kind of a a bad Amazon and um, racked up oh, oh fix see she's tacking stuff on man I don't think we agreed to two greenhouses a barn and a hen house you know what where's my scaffolding I'm not gonna leave that with her sure as heck not gonna give her our stinking scaffolding, I can tell you that much. Good for nothing. So yeah, about eBay thing, you know, and I used to be big into that. And 
I actually knew somebody who that was their well career or job. They would actually go and buy um, either garage sale stuff or they would buy uh, what would you call it? People die and leave their estates, and they would buy their basically all the contents of their estate if they didn't have family or people that they were willing at all to. And they did quite well. Actually, they did very well with doing that. It was it was a lot of work for them. I actually worked for them for, for a bit. I needed some in-between job work. And uh, very, very interesting work. And I remember they bought one estate and they made out like bandits. In fact, I really never got the final number of how much they made from this one estate, but the lady was a hoarder. It was kind of sad. She died kind of alone. It was actually kind of a sad deal, but it was a, it was a hoarder's nest. It was awful. And, uh, that was my kind of the, my first job with them was to go help them clean out this house. And <clears throat> it had all the it had all the earmarks of a hoarder. I mean, we're talking about two liter bottles of urine laying everywhere. I mean, it was sad. It's just sad. And uh, once they got this place cleaned out, though. It took us a couple weeks, several dumpsters. Well, this lady just so happened to believe in owning gold and silver instead of putting her money in a bank. And like I said, I never got the final value that they made from this estate sale that they bought, but I did find out that they, it was easily half a million plus uh, that they made on this one deal. So yeah, you know, that's not too shabby if that's what you want to do for a living. Of course, you know, we'd all do it if, <laughs> we'd all do it if we could find estates like that. I mean, they, they also found estates where, you know, they were lucky to break even. And it's a lot of work, but anyways, so my, uh, my selling on eBay, I used to love when people would, I didn't get many of these myself. Just, uh, I didn't experience it much, but there would be people on their buyers that would leave negative comments about things that they knew when they bought the item. I never understood that. Like, like you would get a negative comment about the shipping amount, but the shipping amount was stated clearly in the auction. So don't buy it then. If you don't want to pay that much for shipping, don't buy it. I mean, it's weird. It's, it would be like I go into Walmart buy some sunglasses. Oh, these sunglasses are $30. Okay. And then go home and leave a review and say, it was stupid to pay $30 for these sunglasses. Well, you're the idiot who did it. And these aren't complaints like people getting stuff that, you know, was false advertising. Just some people you can't make happy. Why am I on that subject? Oh, because of this chick. Yeah, Janet. Complaining about what they have here. Well, you bought it, so there you go. Oh, come on, man. How much how much work is in this? I'm going to We better get that corn head too. I I'm going to feel cheated if we don't get that too. What am I missing here? We won't got to be almost done. Oh, there's a piece right over there. Oh. Where is that? There it is. We should be darn close. Yeah, they were an interesting couple, though. They were definitely an interesting couple. 
I really liked him. He had a weird sense of humor, but he was a pretty funny guy. Oh, it looks like we did finish it up. If she reneges on the deal, I'm taking out this angle grinder, and we're going to have a little fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say you could have the harvester? Janet, the job's all done. That's fantastic. The harvester and header are all yours. You're darn right they I are. can also sell you the seedlings cheaper, if you wish. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, she's... See, that's not really a smile, is it? Oh, that's Joseph. She's still... What, what, what is she saying? What? She's still waving her hands at me. Do I get a... Oh, she has a smile. Nice. All right. What's the deal with Joseph over here? Where's Joseph? There he is. Let's go see Joseph. Joseph, what's up, dude? Not now. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me for living. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is ours. You received the Harvester 100 social points. That's nice. I wonder if we got this too, though. I'm kind of feeling like she went cheap on us. Oh, it shows the gas there too. Okay. Let's hop in it. Oh, that's a nice piece of equipment. Uh, let's see here. Move discharge pipe. That's okay. Cruise control lights. Do we have lights? We've got a light. All right. What's uh? Oh, okay. All right. Very nice. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, there we go. Got it. All right. So what is it? Z. Man, this camera sucks. Z turns it on. R lowers the head. Um, if we lower the head and I let it go, can we get this corn head too? I knew we shouldn't have brought the... We shouldn't have brought our tractor over here. I wonder if it'll let me pick up the corn head. Not there, it won't. Now, oh, it is letting me pick it up. Nice, okay. So I guess we do own both. We can lower the corn head. Come on, camera. Uh, let's let go of the corn head. I don't think we... We don't want the corn head first. We're going to want the... We're going to want the regular grain header here first. Let's see if I get lucky. I have no idea how to line this thing up. What just happened to the sound? I must be off somehow. Um, C, C, C. C, senor, you are, oh yeah, you're way off. Okay, so it's to the right of me. A little more. Let's see if I can get lucky going this route. That's weird, That's, it's like the sound stopped. Oh, I got it, all right, good. Let's head home, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave our tractor. I guess we'll leave our tractor here. I wonder if, um, I'm going to guess that the equipment doesn't reset when you exit, save the game and exit, so that uh, our tractor is just going to stay at Janet's there forever and ever until we get it. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. All right, so we needed this thing. Oh, I better not go in the water. And then we definitely need to pick ourselves up a grain trailer as well. Hey, whoa, whoa. We're, I don't think that dude's supposed to be down here. That doesn't seem kind of right. Where's our field? I think our field's over here. Am I lost or am I looking in the right... Is that the right thing here? 
I think this is our field here. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, so let's get this bad boy over here. Um Alright, let's let's just see what happens. Why not, right? Let's see what kind of disaster we can create here. Oh, it's it's working. Oh, you are moving too fast. I'm going to lose some crops. So can I use the cruise control? All right, so it looks like I can use the cruise control to keep a proper speed. Then the next question is, how do I know how full... Like, I don't see any information that shows how full our harvester is. Um, call a tow truck. Oh, there we go. Okay. So our tank is about half full right now. Well, that's not very convenient. 99% on fuel, so... I kind of wish they had that on the screen all the time. That'd be kind of nice to see. Are we leaving a straw swath or anything? I don't know if we're really leaving anything behind that we can bail. It's kind of hard to tell. Wait, wait. Oh, I, oh man, I keep forgetting. That's right. 80% on the grain tank. I don't think this game is going to stop stop us from wasting. It's it's a uh, Oh, here we go. Overfilling your combine. Well, it's at 95. Is it raining? Did I just see rain or was that No, okay. Ninety six percent, ninety eight, ninety nine. Okay, we better stop there. And lift this. Oh man, I was just gonna drive across our field. I'm spoiled with farming simulator turning off crop destruction. I'm very spoiled with that. We're gonna open our pipe. I'm gonna guess we can dump on the ground. Oh, there is. Look at there is. There is. It looks like there is stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I bet we can pick up this. Yeah. Okay. We should be able to bail then. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna have to figure out how to, I guess, work for a bailer. This is the next thing I have to wonder: is will this silo? take more than one grain type and will this silo let us dump like this into it I'm hoping it does um, V that's interesting is that it uh, V F Oh, okay. V was... Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's find out if I just destroyed all of our grain. Oh, nope. Made it into the silo. Excellent. So, 1,200 kilograms of wheat. Okay. So, you can dump direct. That's good news. I wonder if you dump it on the ground if you would be able to come back and get it. somehow or if um, if you're just SOL I gotta remember to do the cruise control it's not a slow harvester I'll give it that oh wait a minute oh Brad you're destroying crops right now big time Uh, Z, R, T. There we go. 
Yeah, I just wrecked some crops. So I was looking at all the options in the game, too, to see, like, if you could turn off crop destruction or anything else. Uh, negative. There's not a lot of options in this game. I'm not a big fan of the fact that you keep, that you have to keep right-clicking to see how full your tank is. Maybe on some fancier, newer combines we get. Maybe you won't have to. Maybe some of this is just because of the age of the combine. Hey, as long as it yells at me for overfilling, I'll be okay with that. Oh, no, 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 no. I did it again, didn't I? Or did I? No. Okay, you're good. We are at 60. Whoa, what's what's shooting out of the butt? Is that the... I don't know what that is. I just... I feel like that was bad. 65%. Oh, maybe that's just... Straw. Hopefully. Yeah, it gets a little wonky. Eighty-nine, ninety. I guess if you just kind of get used to, oh, it does kind of warn you. That's good. Uh, F for the pipe. I guess we'll just rinse and repeat until we're done with the field. And I think from what I was reading, they basically just want you to harvest and sell. Um, at least from what I've seen so far, there's no point in, there's not like um, wait till a certain month for better pricing. I guess that there are places that offer better pricing like the, the mill offers better pricing on grain. The agricultural shop will offer better pricing on other crops, I guess. But basically, from what I can tell, um, what am I, what, what's going on here? Am I, am I just wrecking crop? Start, raise and lower. I feel like I think I screwed that up a little bit. I'm moving back too fast. <laughs> All right. It's hard once your like muscle memory is so fixated on another game. I'm just so used to farming simulator but this isn't too shabby I, I can I can deal with this I haven't seen anything or didn't read anything about being able to lease equipment so I think I think you're kind of just I don't think they have equipment leasing oh I know what one thing we can do that I wanted to check out actually let's finish so I did it again Let's skip one more load. Let's get one more load to the to the silo. And we need to plant some tomatoes. I did read in the dealio in the guide that we can plant tomatoes right away in our greenhouse once we repaired it which we have I still can't get over how just the interaction with with people is so mm -hmm. bizarre all right I'm gonna stop her there 
Why is it mad at me for moving too fast backwards? Oh, am I actually running over some crop maybe when I do that? But oh well. Win some, lose some. Uh, F. So will it let me... Will it let me... Stop, 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 stop. Right there. Start, stop, spilling grain. Ninety-seven percent. See, I'm seeing this stuff here on the ground. That must just be from. I'm assuming I can dump right on the ground. I don't want to because I don't want us to lose our grain. But that's kind of what it's looking like to me. All right, let's pull the pipe in. Let's hop out here for a second. I want to check. What are we getting? About 1,200 kilos per. So I have lost a little bit of grain. Or I just didn't have quite a full tank last time, did I? So it looks like we're doing okay. Let's take a quick look in our greenhouse here. Supposedly we can, or as the kids today would say, supposedly. Never got that. All right, so seeds, tomatoes. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten. Excellent. Uh, so we can remove them. Does that mean I can just put them right back? Or did I just... Oh, okay. So, all right, good. All right. How do we know how they're doing? Yeah, I'm seriously hungry. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'll eat an apple. Keep them happy for a couple minutes. So how do we know how we're doing? Oh, maybe farm statistics. Greenhouses. Here we go. Uh, tomatoes. Planted 10. None ready for harvest. Humidity is low. That's probably not good. I think we've got this job, or I saw this the last time. It's costing us money to run it, though. I don't know how much we're supposed to run it. Humidity, perfect. Well, that was easy. All right, let me close the dealio. Do we have to, like, open the top windows or anything crazy or start up the fans? I guess we just have to keep an eye on this, maybe. I don't know if we have to. I don't know if we have to fertilize them at all, get better growth from them. No idea. Might have to look that up in the old guide or hope for the best. Uh, this is grain storage is an alternative to. Oh, this is an alternative to silo. Oh. Okay, I can store other grains here. Only one type of grain can be stored here at a time. It's your choice. Just don't try to mix grains. Oh, so we can store grain in here. Okay. Uh, place trailer here to retrieve grains from your storage. Okay. So, this is actually interesting. What's in... Fuel tank. I think that's the fuel tank. What are they saying this is then? Anything in particular? Repairs? Fuel tank's over there. Not really sure what they would consider this right there. I think we were up here before and saw some grain up here. Yeah, okay. All right. So that pipe here, I'm not really sure what the dealio is. There. Hmm. So it looks like we can store maybe our wheat in that silo and maybe we can bring... I would guess you'd put it in a wagon and back the wagon into here. Let's 
Seeds and fertilizer. Where's the magazine? Seeds and fertilizers bought at the agricultural market or agricultural market are transferred here. From here, you can load them into your seeders and see. I think that's what this is, right? Isn't this seed and fertilizer? I don't know. Or is that magazine showing something over here? It's kind of weird. Yeah, magazine. Maybe both. I don't know. Kind of weird, though. We, either way, we're probably going to have to get the plow out of there and make room for that. I did read that you don't, you definitely don't want to, I think we're going to go, actually, can we do this? Can we? Uh, old machine jack. Oh, good. So we can teleport. Excellent. All right. I didn't want to have to walk all the way over to get our tractor. So yeah, things to figure out, I guess, or to find out. It's, it's an interesting, I can't help but compare this game to Farming Simulator because I played Farming Simulator for for years and years and years. And I can see now where when I was reading comments about this and, and reading feedback about this game, and it was from a lot of people, it seemed like that had played Farming Simulator and were also doing comparisons. and. I'm starting to understand some of the comparisons that people were making as far as, you know, this would be nice in Farming Simulator if, this, if, if they had this. Like, I can actually, I'm starting to see where there are features in this game that definitely almost are more realistic in some ways. Which is kind of weird because Farming Simulator you know, is a simulator, so you would kind of think they would make a lot of effort into simulating real farming as much as possible. But you don't want to alienate, I guess, you know, players who just want to have fun. Now, it's also my understanding that we should be getting, uh, we should be taking some time to get chickens straight away, which I think we probably need to do. And it's also my understanding that we need to keep up the maintenance on our farm, that things degrade over time, and if you don't maintain things, it does cause problems as well. But since we just actually fixed everything, we should have a while, hopefully. All right, so he is very hungry. I think the next thing to do is try and find a little bit of food for the poor guy. And I think the only place I know to get food at the moment is from that weirdo standing outside the the store. Like, why they have a dude standing out in front of the store that sells apples and sells all this... Oh, I guess I could have walked here. And why they don't just have the store... Like, why can't I just go in the store and buy things instead of having to deal with this clown? What's up, dude? No, I wasn't talking about you. I don't Good think to see you. Can I help you? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. Um, <sighs> you know what I need, buddy? Care guess, to trade? I guess we should trade. Sure. What do you need? Your mom. Um... Tomate, uh, tomatoes? Yeah, let's buy some tomatoes. We're gonna have to spend money. We'll buy all the tomatoes. Uh, we might as well buy that. I, I think, I don't know if we should be buying all this, but, and I don't know if this guy restocks his, <laughs> restocks at all, or if we're like buying him out and he just never will get more. But we need to stay fed. Now, I did read some comments. Oh, sausages. I read something about the sausages and the dog. Let's try that. I want to try that. Let's buy all the sausages. This will be good for now. So I read that... Um, why aren't you smiling? I just bought a bunch of stuff from you, whack job. Doesn't he look like... Um,
Um, I'll think of it. I, it just it just left my mind though. It's like a blend of the gangsters from Goodfellas mixed in with your high school gym teacher and social studies teacher. That's what he looks like to me. So supposedly, the dog here, hello buddy, we can give him sausage and he becomes our friend, which I guess makes sense. Rex seems to be really fond of you. Yeah, we just gave him a sausage. You like that, buddy? Now, I guess if you give, did we give him all of them? No, we only gave him one. I thought I read where you give him four and you basically own it. You own his life. Now, he seems to be heading our way. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he gets closer and closer to our farm. I can't feed him again, though, evidently. Hey, Rex, do you want another sausage? Oh, okay, we'll feed Rex later. Unless he gets hit by a stinking car. That would be horrific. Uh, let's go... Let's visit one more place that I'm curious about. And that is... The... Not the agricultural store, the vehicle store. I definitely want to check out the vehicle store. That looks like it is south of us. Back over there, 1.423 M's. What is that car sitting there like that for? Is he, is he following us? I don't want to hit Rex. Can I, is it best to go this way? I feel kind of like we can just cut through here. Let's try this. I want to go visit the vehicle shop real quick and let's see what exactly they have for us there. What brand names. I don't know if this game actually has any brand names or if it's just, ooh, this is a little sketchy. We're gonna try and go this way. I, um, I also don't know how much cross-country we can get away with. Oh, did we plow this field? This isn't the one we cultivated and plowed, is it? Maybe it is. It looks like you can pretty much get away with driving through anybody's property. Um, you can drive onto anybody's land. As long as you don't drive on their crops. That's like the cardinal sin. Otherwise, you're you're pretty much golden child. Hey, what? Oh, I hit. A, I didn't even see that pole there. I hope we can't damage our equipment. Guess not. Just run out of gas. All right, this was much better than walking. Holy cow! Oh, there it is. Excellent day. Eh? Let's go check out the agricultural market. See what we can't afford. Ooh, I'm already seeing a... Is that a crompie? Is that a brand name trailer? No. And an Amazon? Did I see Amazon stuff too? We're going right in. No, we're not gonna do that. Stop. Get out. All right, we're here. Holy cow, this looks like an Amazon. It is an Amazon. 6,000 bucks for this cedar. That's interesting too. Look how much bigger that cedar is in this game. As far as looking at it from a, um, what do I want to say, a scale? Like in Farming Simulator, this thing looks tiny. I'd say to scale, this game's a little more interesting for me. Yeah, that's brand name too. The cramp is it crampy? I don't know if it's cramp or crampy or crampy. I don't know. Uh, I don't think boxer's a name. I think that's made up. All right. Oh, that looks like a Kloss. Is it the Jaguar? Or uh, Le Lexion? I forget what this is now. Shoot, I should know, right? I've played the game long enough. But it's actually a a CT, a CX, a custom CX to be exact. Oh, 100,000 euros. 
Goodness gracious. Brake horsepower, 240. That's not actually that much. Hmm. Interesting. A big beet harvester. Holy cow. Holy cow. Excuse me. They don't have a regular combine here, though. Like, that's kind of weird, right? Beet cedar. Very specific. They do have flegal, too. Interesting. I wasn't really expecting to see... <laughs> What's this guy? <laughs> What's this guy doing? <laughs> That's amazing. <sighs> how did he even get there? Dude. Dude. How did you even get here? Like, literally impossible. Look at him. <laughs> He's just going to sit there for hours, man. <laughs> I would love to be able to help you out, buddy, but... No can do. Actually, can we? No, it's, the game's not going to let me do anything fun. Oh, well, good luck, buddy. You're on your own. Flegal trailer? That looks nice. Another Amazon? What is this, an Amazon? What is that? Is that like a... Oh, is that a... Uh, bah, 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 what do you call it? Um, Malter? Some kind of mulch or cultivator thing. So we can go inside. Looks like they got oils and lubricants and whatnot. But what I don't see is let's say we wanted to buy a combine. Maybe you can't. I'm going to have to figure out how this works because obviously this can't be all the equipment that you could ever buy new. That would be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? What is... What is this guy doing, man? <laughs> I love it. All right, everyone. That's going to do it for <laughs> for this episode. I think I went a little long. I apologize. But, hey, it was fun, right? I hope it was fun, at least for you. It always is for me. This game cracks me up. I like it. Um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, there will be more episodes. We're going to keep going on Farmer's Dynasty to see what other kind of craziness we can stumble into. You all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and um, and I'll and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. I'm really trying to help this guy. I'm almost got him out, and I think if I, if he'll, I think we can just. Oh, he's so close. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get out of there. There he goes. Oh, where'd he go? Where? Did he get stuck again? What an idiot. Now, I can't do anything else with for this guy. He's plastered out of his mind or something. He's either... He's either drunk or... Or he's been hitting the the special um, greenhouse veggies, if you know what I mean. Actually, I don't even know if I know what I mean by that. By that. I'm gonna try and see if I if I back into him here. But he'll just get stuck again. Yeah, you know what? Sorry, man. You're on your own. Godspeed. <laughs>